Hey, this is Tyler Theater Design Company. Going to do a short video on the install of the Midlight Power Jumper. If you haven't watched our unboxing video on this, please do so. This video entails a short time lapse, some uh, keywords on what to do, and some live video. Hope you like it. All right, so I'll narrate this the best I can. It's a uh, time lapse mixed with some live video. It's basically what you do on this job. Uh, I've got all my tools laid out got a little list of tools that uh, you need at the front of this video and uh, I'm just marking the studs out so we know our location popping in and marking the top locations here uh, one thing to note here and I'll, I'll show it here is I like to mark all four corners of the display the center of where the display is going obviously left and right of where the display is going and then what you want to make sure you do is you don't want your midlight power jumper to run below those two tape marks on your bottom corners. So you can see I'm marking those out. I'm marking my stud finder again, making sure there's nothing in the way. It's also not a bad idea to do your stud finder all the way up and down the stud bay. Make sure there's no blocking. So there it is all taped out. Tape's cheap. Might as well use it. And then what I like to do here on certain jobs, especially if it's a real finicky job or real perfection is needed, then you would take the cover plate off and use a level to span across. This will give you the exact height of your outlet that you're cutting in. So again, noted there with some text, use level for inlet power location. So doing the same thing on the upper area again and making sure I don't go below that TV mark. Go ahead and cut this box in on the bottom. And then once that's cut in, we put our uh, Arlington mud rings in. Carlon, Arlington, there's several companies that make them. Uh, the Midlight kit does not include the two mud rings. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a, a five foot fish tape, um, basically a fish rod to push that up through there. I'm gonna grab the tape, pull it through. And then you wanna make sure you use ample tape, but don't go too crazy. And we're gonna basically tape the inlet power in. And we're gonna pull that down the wall carefully. You can also see I have a, a plastic bag I'm using for garbage there. I also am using that to keep the uh, metal of the power inlet from scratching up the wall. So we've got that pulled through success and now we're just going to install our devices. So top and bottom, it's a UL listed device. So no electrician is needed. So top bottom installed cover plates on. So got the power line on there. One quick thing to note is that the power cord is directional. So make sure you've got it pointing down. And we're all wrapped up.